Hi everybody! In this week's video I'm going to show you how to paint simple rocks to make them look like these awesome cactus decorations. Today's shout out goes to my mother-in-law for giving me this amazing idea. She sent me a picture of this idea and I just had to do it and I wanted to share it with you. Thanks mom! These cactus pots would be a great gift idea and I plan on giving a couple of them away for Christmas this year. Here are a few things that I love about my homemade cactus. I can touch them and they don't prick me. <laughs> I also love the fact that I can't kill them. <laughs> I can't overwater them. And I can't deprive them of sunlight. I can use them to brighten up any dark corner. It's awesome. Let's get started. The first thing that we will do is find rocks of all different shapes and sizes to use for our cactus. I like to collect rocks, but you could even buy rocks at the dollar store. One of the things that I did before starting my project was to look up pictures of decorative cactuses on Google. This gave me some ideas of what I wanted my cactuses to look like. The next thing I do is group together which rocks I would like to use for each different cactus shape that I want to make. I really like the cactus that look like they have arms. So I found flat, round rocks that would look good together to form this shape. I also love the cactus with the little colorful balls on top. So I use pebbles to duplicate this look on my rocks. Here are pictures of my cactus. I think the colorful cactus are so awesome. So I use round rocks on top of taller rocks to make some that look like this. Now that we have all our cactus shapes picked out, I use Amazing Goop to glue my rocks together. It dries fast, it is easy to paint, and it is pretty sticky so I don't have to hold my rocks in place for a long time before setting them down. Tacky glue works too, but will require more time. Once the rocks are glued, I use my other rocks to support it while it dries on the table. I do this with all my cactus shapes. For my cactus with arms, I use glue on the back of the larger rock to give it more surface to stick. While my glue is drying, I make some homemade pots. Use your imagination to create a unique pot for your cactus. I used a clear solo cup to make this pot and I decorated it with twine. And this is how I did it. You will need a solo cup, hot glue gun, scissors, and twine. I used my scissors to cut my cup to the height that I wanted my pot to be. Now I use my twine to decorate the outside of the cup. I simply roll my twine into flat circles like this. When it is the size I want it, I cut the string and glue it onto the cup. Roll different sizes to give it a unique style. I glued green twine along the top and bottom to give it a finished look. This is what the pot looks like when it's done. For this pot, I used a measuring cup that I saved that came off of an old laundry soap container. I used burlap ribbon and twine to decorate it. Here's how I did this one. I cut the ribbon to fit the size of the cup and hot glue it onto the cup. I glued green twine around the top and bottom and now I have a homemade pot. So easy. And of course, a cactus will always look good in a clay pot. <laughs> These two pots were from the Dollar Tree. Now it is time to paint our cactus. I use green for the main part of the cactus and multiple other colors for the colorful parts. I used acrylic paints. I painted a base coat on all my cactus and let them set out to dry. After the paint is dry, I use paint pens, sharpie markers, and a thin paintbrush to give the cactus details. I use X's and lines to give the cactus spines. Sometimes I use just dots to represent the spines. Use your imagination. The important thing when doing this project is to take your time and have fun with it. After all the details are painted, I let them set out to dry. Now let's create more details to make our cactus pop. Cactus flowers add a beautiful touch to each decoration. And here is how I made my flowers. I use tissue paper and fold it several times into a small square. I get a pair of scissors and cut the tissue paper into a circle like this. Now I fold my circle in half and cut a small hole in the center of my circle. 
I use a small bread to hold the flour together. I stick the bread into the hole in the center and spread the bread apart. Now I cut small slits all around the outer edge of the circle. When this is done, I scrunch up the flour to separate the petals. Then I hot glue the flour onto a rock cactus. The flour makes the cactus look so happy. Once all the cactuses are decorated, I filled all my pots with sand. Then I arranged all the cactuses in the pots. After I had all my cactus arranged in my pots, I wanted to decorate the top of the sand. I thought fish tank pebbles would be the best, but since I didn't have any, I went to my yard and I collected pebbles from my yard. I simply rinsed off my pebbles and dried them on a paper towel. Then I covered all the sand with the pebbles and pushed them down around the cactus. The pebbles work perfectly because they also help hold your cactus where you want them in the pot. I am so happy with how all of my cactus decorations turned out. They will make such lovely gifts. I am sure that they will bring a smile to everyone who sees them. I have been loving all your feedback and I can't wait to give your suggestions and ideas a try. You are such an inspiration. Thanks from the bottom of my heart. So awesome. I hope you like this idea as much as I did, and I hope it inspires you to give it a try too. If you do like this idea, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Check out our Facebook page, and I'll see you next time. Bye!